Yeah, weather out there definitely trying to play a trick on us. It is still early March and we are about to feel a lot more like early March as we are heading into the rest of our week. But today felt like summertime. This looking out on the 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin where our temperatures are starting to cool off a little bit, sitting at 79 degrees already. Our dew points are in the mid 40s, so the drier air is moving in as we are heading into the overnight hours, and that's going to allow us to cool a little bit more efficiently tonight down into the 50s and 40s. But today was another record high temperature, 86 degrees. Our high for today, 84, the old record set in 1956. So we definitely were overachieving for today, but like I said, this is probably the last day that we're going to see these high temperature records being set for at least a little while because some much cooler air moving in for what looks like potentially the rest of the month. But right now we are enjoying our warm conditions. 79 in Dublin, 79 in Warner Robins and seeing 83 still down in Vienna. Across the rest of the southeast, more of the same. We've got 82 over in Montgomery, 61 in Nashville. So that cooler air starting to move in. We'll see really more of that overnight tonight and into tomorrow. But clear skies behind the cold front that came through earlier today. Breezy conditions as well are going to hang out with us for tonight and into tomorrow. So just expect to see those wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour for about the next 24 hours or so. High pressure for tomorrow will be keeping us clear through the early parts of the day, and it's also going to send us in some easterly winds. But as we're heading into tomorrow afternoon and evening, we'll start to see more of this cloud cover pushing in. However, I do think that most of the rain is going to be holding off until Thursday. So you see this area of low pressure out to our west. That's going to send us some scattered showers by Thursday afternoon and evening. But our big rain, or at least our first big rain, is going to be moving through on Friday. Thankfully, though, it's going to be cool enough that we're really not going to see a huge threat for severe storms. So we are looking at maybe a couple rumbles of thunder, but otherwise expect to see some pockets of heavier rainfall for Friday afternoon and evening. For the rest of tonight, though, nothing to worry about other than in breezy conditions. Temperatures falling to around 60 degrees by midnight. We're down into the 50s for early tomorrow morning and some places could even get into the upper 40s, but a slow warm up 63 degrees by around noon, 68 by 3 p.m. Staying breezy once again, wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour. And then you look ahead to the weekend. We are going to see a really nice Saturday. If that's your one takeaway for planning the weekend, Saturday is going to be a really nice day to be out and about. However, by Sunday, although I don't think it's going to be a total rain out, Sunday afternoon and evening is going to bring some heavy rainfall that will be lingering into Monday. And then behind this, you see some of this blue that starts to work its way into our area. That is some pretty cool conditions as we are heading into next week. So be ready for that big cool down pretty much starting next week. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We're going to be kind of all over the place for the next seven days. So today was our warm day. Highs tomorrow only topping out in the low 70s. By Thursday, we're only going to make it into the middle 60s. This is where we start to see those showers moving in overnight through Friday. Once again, Saturday is going to be probably our best day. And then more rain on Sunday into Monday.